Good morning, family. It's nine o'clock, Saturday, December 31st, 2022. Just a little update video. Everybody's liking the piglets, so I'm gonna send or upload a couple more videos of just the piglets. I mean, it's hard to get these other guys in there because they just look so good, but what are you gonna do? They were just up at the cabin, so I guess they want some camera time. Good girl, Hazel. Hazel chased them back here, so. I had a short being made. <laughs> I was making a short. Uh, and then Hazel dashed them back here, so. It was gonna be a cute short, but not anymore. This is what we get now. They're finding the acorns. That's what they're crunching on. Hope everybody had a good week. Everybody has a good new year. Hazel Basil. She's the farm dog. <clears throat> Might get some sun today. But yes, they're making it a habit to come underneath the wire. Which right now is fine with me a bunch of people may say that's crazy you allow that but i mean haven't lost any um i'm not looking to lose any before i stop it i'm just this is just what they've done all the litters have done it um and it's a lot of string to run this type of wire back and forth back and forth back and forth this is just two wires so it's a lot easier. Um, I will eventually move these guys in where the other group is and move them out. They need to go further down. I'm still trying to figure out my location and how I'm gonna do this whole idea. But the way these piglets are moving, they're moving towards this set of woods that hasn't been, I've gone through with the mower a couple times, but it needs some piglet and hog action through there to do some rooting and get the ground tilled up so we can get some grass and pasture growing. So I'm going to be running some cows. I'm going to run the hogs. I've got 55 acres. There's certain spots on the farm that is a, farm farm, a, a pine farm. So I'm thinning those out, and uh, I'm going to do a silvo pasture. Silvo pasture as in uh, trees and pasture for grazing. You guys can look up that term and get the proper definition, but from what I've researched, it's, it's forest and grass and pasture together, so they consider it silvo pasture. Don't know why it's silvo, but that's just what they call it. But yeah, these hogs being black, <clears throat> the summers here get pretty hot, so I definitely want my hogs in some shade, give them some protection. Looking to get a wire, a hot wire around the whole 55 acres, just haven't gotten to it yet. I have a couple bre breakthrough spots on it. It's been there since we've purchased the property. Just with all the things going on, there's been more important things than dealing with broken fences right now. All of our animals are contained. Um, I say as piglets are out of their fence, but they're close to mama. That's all that matters. Be nice, Hazel. They're okay. They don't need to go home yet. They're not far. It's okay.
They're okay. They're just eating. They're okay. My coffee's good. Sorry for slurping in your ears. Let them play. It's okay. You play too. She knows my commands, so she knows when I'm telling them to get back in the cage, she knows exactly what I'm saying, so she's trying to trying to do it for me. She's such a good dog. We learned, I actually trained her with chickens, so, uh-oh. Just figured I'd show you guys a little video of the, of the pigs, pigless playing and roaming. To show that it's not a big deal if they break loose. It's not like you're gonna lose your lose your hogs. Mom was there. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. The other hog, the other mama, she came through the fence. She didn't let that fence stop her from getting to the piglets. So you're gonna get different reactions and things like that from different different mamas. Uh, this one just does not like and cannot stand the electric fence, which I can understand because it sucks, it hurts. Uh, but it's not, a, and that's what people don't realize. This is my sister actually. She thought the electric bill was going up before because of it, but it's not. It's it sends pulses. It's like tss, tss, tss. so they have to be touching it and grounded as it's sending that shock through. So sometimes they touch it and you don't even. You don't even get a reaction, and that's because it's not constant power running through. It just sh sends shocks. If you guys want, I'll show you <clears throat> my setup and what I'm using. I'm using something different. I'm using a solar charger for the, the hogs, and uh, I'm using a regular plug-in for the cattle. So, But see, this is, this is what's natural for these piglets. They... They love to, to forge and get whatever they can get from the from the earth itself. That's free feed. People don't realize as big as these these hogs get, like if you guys only saw how much how little I feed these guys, like you would just be like, How what how do they get so big? <clears throat> now the cattle on the other hand, I'm learning it's just, it's a lot of work uh, with the cattle. It's a lot of, you know, uh, trying to think of the proper terms. Um, a lot of questions. Like, you, if, if they give birth, you're getting one. Uh, and then it's a chance of 50-50 chance of it not surviving. The, the calf not surviving. These, I mean, you're getting 15 chances. Three times a year if I wanted to. I'm only doing... Right now, two times a year. Oh man, Mama's finally up. The other one's a new Mama. I've been worried about her the past couple days. Let's go check her out. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this is her first litter as well. It's all the the girls' first litter. So, oh, she laid back down. I really need her to get up and eat and drink for the piglet safety. Not piglet safety, but the piglet's health. Sorry, I just woke up, guys. My head is spinning. I didn't just wake up. I just started coming out here. I was sitting there playing with the fire. And yes, I feed my animals late. They see me. It's just because it's just the way I do it. Everybody can do it their own way. There's no right or wrong way. I guess the wrong way would be to starve them. And the right way would be to just make sure they have food. Hi, Mama. Let everybody see your piggies. Have you gone to eat? You haven't eaten your food, Mama. You gotta go eat. You gotta eat so you can feed the babies. You gotta eat so you can feed the babies, Mama. What's these piglets doing? What are those babies doing? That's the babies. The babies. Can I see your babies? Can I see your babies? What are these piggies doing? She had five. She squashed one. Um, 
it happens after they give birth. I've seen in the comments, uh, the hay's a bad idea. My, my girls, I, I get where people are coming from, but if I were to catch these, like if you would have just seen her laying down, she literally starts from here to there and she'll rub her nose through where she's going to lay down. And then she flops down. And she does it now, knowing that she's got babies. She flops down very gently. So before it was, uh, you know, just a big plop. And with no worries. Now she she has caution and she knows what she's doing. Huh, mama? See, I know new mama anymore. I'm a five-day-old mama. Yeah, these piglets were born, I'm going to say, four days ago? It's okay. They're okay. She's literally got her nose on my, my lap. She's the favorite of them all. She's just the coolest, the chillest, I guess you would say. I've been blessed with all three of them, actually. They, they're all chill around their babies. And I think that's because of the relationship I've built with them. They've known. Now, when other people come around, yeah, they... They look like they get mad at me, and they act like it. They 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 get loud because they have seen me sell one. So they they know they're very smart animals, very very smart. Let me say hi to the piggies again, okay? We got two girls and two boys. It was three girls and two boys. What are you doing, baby? I see the babies. What's the babies doing? I see them babies. What are them babies sheeping? It's the sheeping babies. It's the sheeping babies. They jockey for position, trying to get warm. You gonna let them come out and play, Mama? Huh? You gonna let them come out and play? Huh? They're okay. They can come out. You need to come out. You've been laying down for days. Come on, piggy piggies. Come get some sun, piggy piggies. See, I'm the smart one. I get them on my side. They're okay. She's okay. Come over here and see. Mo! Mo, piggy piggies. Piggy, surfing mama piggies. Yeah, okay. Oh no, battery's dying. What's new? I can say these batteries are a lot better than they used to be. You gonna come eat, mama? Come on. See, they know to get out of the way. Hi, girl. You gonna come eat? Come on, mama. Come eat. Come on. What are you doing? This is Cletus. This is Cletus here. That's my little Cletus. See how she's pushing her nose through? And then she laid back down. That's what she does. Man, it would be nice to get her to get up and eat. She hasn't. It doesn't look like she's touched her food. And that's not normal either. You can tell she doesn't move often because even the piglets will get up and go pee and poop outside of their spot. So it was, I, I really, with this girl, I was really expecting probably around 15 piglets. And when only five came out, it just, the size of her just it just didn't seem right um two placentas did come out krista told me so uh that was the end but it just seemed like seemed like she had more in her and and i was really worried i didn't go to bed till like four or five o'clock that morning it was actually like five i believe i left you guys a little short i couldn't even get it on recording it was cold it was it was just too much. She was struggling, like, unlike the other ones. Um, 
she just like literally the baby was just hanging out of her the other ones would just push it straight out that was the first one of course so she jumped up and i had to calm her and push her back down which she did willfully and uh she popped it out after that it was a lot easier she i think she understood what was going on because i put the baby literally in front of her face and she made her little her little happy sound uh, <clears throat> just my baby sound But yeah, these are the new babies. There's the first babies. You can see them in there. It's so muddy. This has never been like this before. This is... This is new. It's normally nice and dry and... But this is the reason of why you move them. Because then it turns into this when we do get rain. But this will be so nice to throw some grass seed in. And this will all be green. You guys are seeing it now. So. Springtime. We should have some grass in here. I am going to plant some non-native grass in here. Uh, just because it's something I'm testing out. I know a lot of people try to deter that and push away from it. But there's so much... native here that I'm not going to force any natives out, so she's getting in position. Oh, it's already a 17-minute video. But yeah, it's about to, my phone's about to die, so I'll just stop yapping. <laughs> Get you guys some views. The other piglets have taken off somewhere, so let's go find them. And these guys... So definitely full of energy now. What are you doing, piggy piggies? There they are. What's your mama's at? I mean, where's your baby's at, mama? Where's your baby's at? It's not my fault, mama. They're they're breaking loose.